Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. I uh, just wanted to give a big thanks and shout out to everybody that chipped in and supported. Uh, we were able to raise enough funds to where we were, we paid off the, the tickets, um, reinstatement fees, tax, tag, title, registration, insurance, all that stuff on the car. Even got four new tires put on it. So um, the, the car situation is much better, almost 100% resolved. We still do have a little bit more red tape and costs and court dates and stuff that we're going to have to go through uh, in order to get this totally resolved. But just wanted to let you guys know that that is all looking very good. And then one day he was shooting at some food and up to the ground come a bubbling crew. Inside of Seminole County Jail, John E. Polk Correctional Facility, uh, still locked up. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank everybody that uh, contributed to the effort. Uh, we were able to purchase me a lawyer in South Carolina. Help me and my family get through this. Please send us your prayers. And if you've got it and it's not going to hurt you, send us your funds. We really do need it. This is urgent. I've never, you know, begged. And uh, I get accused of it all the time, but I am sort of kind of begging here. So anything that you can do will help, even if it's just a dollar. If a hundred of you send me $2, that's 200 If a thousand of you send me 50 cents, that's 500 If one of you sends me a thousand, that's even better. But look, well, do what you can, man. You know what you got. Well, the first thing you know, old Jeb's a millionaire. Um, and basically what happened was, more or less, I was cyber attacked, uh, got some really bad malware on both my phone and my computer at the same time, basically. Um, I have been unable to post for three months, and uh, anything that you would like to help with would be terrific. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, you know what, man? Here's the thing. I don't ask for donations. That is a word that is never going to be spoken unless I'm responding to someone like you on this. Um, I would say contributions. And, you know, the thing is, man, um, you don't have to watch my videos and you don't have to send any contributions. You know, I'm not going to put a gun to anyone's head and say, well, you're going to send me a contribution or else. I mean, that's not what I do. And so um, if you don't like it, then, you know, then go plant a field of strawberries or something. You know what I mean? Uh, today is going to be the last day that we're going to keep the place unless I can get some help from the friends out there in Flat Earthville. So if you guys can, please uh, support at uh, www.paypal.me slash themorgyle or www.venmo.com slash themorgyle. So luckily that did uh, get us this hotel for a week, but literally I, I spent every penny that I had on the hotel and I don't know what we're going to do. So if y'all want to help, please do. If not, fine. You know. Save the uh, the negative comments and insults for someone who gives a damn because, frankly, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, just keep it to yourself, please. Hey, guys, there's the, uh, the hotel owner. He is uh, very mad at me. Oh, he didn't want to be filmed, so I'll turn around. I, I'll, be, I'll be down to talk with you in just a little while, Alan. I'm sorry. I'm doing a live stream right now. Um, wow. The motel owner is on my butt for the rent. And folks said, Jeb, move away from there. Said, California is a place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly. As you know, we um, moved into a new house. We're no longer in the hotel. And um, we are still struggling. I did start a job and um, it's, it's uh, complicated, but I don't get my first check until it's the, well, no, it's like the 16th, which is still another couple of weeks. And um, the rent here is due again. Um, the landlord is kind of, uh, well, impatient and I don't want to be, um, late with him on my very first month's rent. Um, out. still waiting on my tax return to hit that hasn't hit. I filed, uh, in February and I still haven't got my tax refund yet. So that's a big bummer. Um, we do have most of the rent. We've got 400, the rent's 575. Um, but we need uh, $175 and the guy won't take a partial payment. He's threatening to take us to court if we don't have the full amount right, you know, all at once. And, you know, I, I try to tell him, well, the, the earliest it's going to be is the 16th and he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to wait. So, uh, reaching out, I know, man, we've been so needy lately and I want to thank you for your help. Um, we couldn't have gotten any of this or done anything without your help. And I'm just really scared that we're going to lose this house that we just got. I've been crying all morning and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do. And the only thing I know to do is to reach out and ask for help. Um, if you can help, 
uh, great. If you're in a position to help without taking food off your table, we'd appreciate it. And we really do need your help. Um, and if not, you know, I understand times are, are tough for everybody. And, and I don't want to, you know, like I said, I don't want to take any food off your table. But um, I just don't want to lose this little house, the, you know, the first month that we get it. But now it's time to say goodbye to Jed and all his kin. And they would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in.